on hot air and, tw and twitchy, Michelle Long. <laughs>
a missile or something like that, and it looked like the tape tunes like this. And Jim had the insight to see that this guy had gotten up after he had been struck and was walking around. <laughs> and he exposed so many examples of this and led in the very early nation's days of the conservative blogosphere um, in the epitome of what citizen journalism stands for. Amen. And he is never, he's never going to win a Pulitzer Prize, but he wins my prize. You are the opposite of the right. I want to talk also about his commitment to our troops and defending their honor. Because over the years, your blog has been relentless in standing up for the troops. And the, our troops have been smeared time and time again. And again, if you have followed his work closely, you know that he's exposed so many stories that were left behind by the rest of the mainstream media. Google these names. Anne Marina Randall, Jimmy Massey, Jesse Macbeth, liars. And Jim Hoff called them out. Not the New York Times editorial board, not MSNBC, and not Juan Williams. <laughs> I thought long and hard about how best to honor you, and I thought, well, I could do it the Obama way and take a picture of myself from the back <laughs> looking at your blog. <laughs> then I thought about doing the Colorado way, as you know, I've lived there for the last five years, and maybe toting a couple of ounces of medical marijuana. <laughs> but I have a hard enough time getting through TSA. Not as hard as Dana and Chris. <laughs> I've learned to love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, 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 I really wanted to honor um, the fact that this man represents what Andrew Breitbart talked about, and before him what Ronald Reagan talked about, about being a happy, warrior. Yeah. And uh, the joy that you've brought to so many people is clear here in this room and probably in ways that you cannot even conceive of out there in the rest of the world. And of course, what you've been through to hell and back, you, were all, you already were a warrior and um, now I'm giving you the appropriate decoration. This is very special to me. <clears throat> These are jump wings that were given to me by Colonel Bud Day, who recently died. Um, and I got to meet a lot of the Swiss Boat veterans several years ago uh, when I was back in Washington. So I want to do the honor of pinning these on you. And it's very rare, Jim, that people get to express the love and respect and admiration that they have for a friend. Uh, there are so many times, I'm sure, that you know in your own lives and experiences where you regret not being able to tell someone that you love them in person. And so I'm honored to be here to join everyone else in their voices in telling you how much I love you, Jim Hoff. Wow.